welcome to Geeky Hygiene's Home and Mischief Makers, and today it's another competition video for Carlinio9. Now, Carl, as I like to call him, I think everyone calls him that, he's hit for 500, 500 subscribers. He's hit 500 subscribers. I think he's on five. He's on 557 as we speak. So, well done, Carl. You'll be on the six, then a thousand, then 10 million. Please remember me when you get that far. But his channel was great. He reviews everything from like classic films like Short Circuit, love that review, TV shows for modern day films, even films he's enjoyed in the past, as well as tag videos and competitions he does himself. Really nice guy. I enjoyed seeing him on the live stream with um, Ricky, Danny and Tony on um live stream not too, not too long ago. Was it on Sinister Arts or Danny's channel? I'm not too sure, but it was good to see him just chat and have fun. There was a really funny bit in that where he, um, I think his camera flipped up and it literally looked like he had been killed by like an invisible force. And because I was like literally just watching it, it kind of made me jump. <laughs> and because I thought someone had taken him. But luckily, he is safe. But Cole, in his competition, has got DOS questions, which I haven't really thought about because I thought it would come naturally to me as I recorded this. So let's see if that works out. So, question number one is if Hollywood came calling and they were going to cost me in a film, what kind of film would it be and why? And this is a really tough one for me because. Like 16 year old version of me would choose Spider-Man all day long because I love the like Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man films. But I would have to be cast as someone more zany. So I'd probably say like The Mask. If they were, were going to make a, like a Mask reboot, a good one, not like an abomination of a sequel. But if they are going to do like another version of The Mask, I'd love to do that because it just, I love the first film. So many great memories, Cameron Diaz. And um, yeah, just so many great memories of how zany Jim Carrey was in that film. And I believe things like that, films like that, contributed to my sense of humor as it is today. And almost like the content I'm creating, and it's like in the zaniness. So I think a lot of that was influenced by my childhood and these kind of films. So I'll choose The Mask um, to be cast in if Hollywood came calling. And question two in cast competition is which movie character do I relate to and why? Now, this is an interesting one to me because I'm going to say the Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker, even Joker and Phoenix's Joker. Because I think a good villain, you need to be able to understand them. And if you can empathize with him, like Thanos from, from Infinity War, you can understand what he's doing, but you're just going about it the wrong way. Same with the Joker. What he's saying makes sense. Like he fledges like famous like bit of dialogue with um Harvey Dent when he's in hospital, that if you send like a thousand soldiers into war and they all get killed, the non bats are annihilated because it's part of the plan. But if one little mayor or a president or a politician gets killed, everyone panics, loses their mind. And that makes sense. You can agree with that. It's like, oh, so it's he's trying to say, what he's saying is that we get so conditioned to be used to things that we never question it when we really should. And that's what I love about the character, that even though he's a terrible, terrible like person, does horrendous things, no one ever dislikes a Joker. Jack Nicholson, did anyone dislike him in that film? No, he fled you. Best part of Dark Knight. Take his joke around the film like even when it gets to the part where he's been captured at the end and he's swinging after that scene the, the film kind of dies um you phoenix no one's against his character in that film I, i'm yet to see any portrayal of the joker where no one doesn't like him because and that's why um Joker phoenix's joker did so well got over a billion because there's a side of everyone you me everyone in the entire world that wishes to be that free not as like dangerous or like as um, violent but everyone wishes to be that free where they're just not contained by bills or anything in life and, and I think that's why his character resonates with so many people that's why I choose the Joker as someone I can relate to not like in like I'm going to kill you way but more of a I can understand what you're trying to say kind of way and as mentioned guys make sure you check out Carl's channel great guy with great content uh, looking forward to the results because uh, these competitions give me anxiety like it does, does anyone else like literally like bite their nails because <laughs> it's when they put your name out you're like no but yeah so make sure you check out Cole Show. great guy with great content but until next time stay out of trouble